everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome to Ask Think episode number 88 for Monday, February 10th, 2014. Now, you guys are probably wondering how many likes were on last week's video with my wife, and honestly, I have no idea because I'm actually recording this before even airing that one because I am away on vacation. But anyway, go ahead and ask your question in the comments below so I can have something to answer when I get back. Remember, only one question per comment, but you can leave as many comments as you like. Also, if the comments on this Ask Think are closed, go to the most recent Ask Think and ask your question there. Now on to the questions, and the first one is from Kadra Raunek, and it says, Dear Think, on your description you have your P.O. Box. And your name says for your P.O. Box, it says Justin aka Think Noodles. Do we just write Think Noodles or do we write Justin aka Think Noodles? Um, I'd prefer that you write Justin aka Think Noodles because that's the name that the P.O. Box is open under. Actually, my full name, but you don't have to put that part. But uh, if you put Justin on it, it just makes it more likely that uh, the people at the post office won't send it back and say, well, Think Noodles doesn't own this P.O. Box. So yeah, go ahead and write it just as it's shown in the description. Mikaya Enriquez says, hey, Think, do you have an NES? And if you do, play Mega Man. Well, I don't have one anymore. I used to have one and I really don't know <laughs> whatever happened to it. But um, Mega Man was one of my favorite games on it. Although if I had to think about it, my most favorite game of all time on the NES, I think was Metroid. Jamiria Jones says, have you rewatched your videos and realized your screams are a little pitchy yet funny? <laughs> yeah, sometimes I do rewatch my videos for my screams and when I get scared and silly little things like that. And you're right, they're a bit pitchy, but always funny. The Scuzzy says, think, do you have the intro part where you say if the comment section is closed for this video pre-recorded so you don't have to say it for every ask think? Nope, I do it every single time. A Critton says, think in your video, you kept killing yourself, why? Uh, <laughs> I think you're talking about two ask things ago at this point. And uh, that was when I was building the adventure map and I was using the slash kill command, but uh, I was trying to kill the zombies that were around me. And um, I was accidentally capitalizing the T and type. And when you do that, it doesn't recognize that selector for the entities. So it just kills everything, including you. So I wasn't meaning to. <laughs> Anthony Doria says, Mr. Noodles, isn't it cool that you get to see your relatives in the prehistoric party? Oh, now that is just rude. I know the prehistoric party is over, but I think I know where you're going with that. And they aren't my relatives. I'm not that old. I, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm not prehistoric. Come on, man. That's not nice. <laughs> Silver Dennis asks, how many words can you type in a minute? Uh, I haven't tested it in a long time, but I'd say around 100 to 120. Lana Wilson asks, do you wear shoes when you record? And when I originally picked out this question, I was like, wow, that's a really strange question to ask. I wonder why someone would think of it, but it's interesting. So I'm going to answer it anyway. And uh, I was doing something else. And then I realized, uh, oh, it was Think Thursday. And I realized why you asked that question. It's because in the code, I kicked my desk. And if I was wearing shoes, it wouldn't matter much. Which brings me to the answer to your question. No, I do not wear shoes when I record. So when I kick my desk, it hurts. Amber Dunn asks, why do some of your videos go private? Because your new Let's Play is. The one that you said you were making today is on the playlist, but it says it's private. So I'm asking, what does it mean when that happens? Well, guys, sometimes when I uh, upload a video and I add it to the playlist, uh, I upload in advance of when it's supposed to go live. So, you know, my videos mostly go uh, on weekdays, mostly go up at 5 p.m. And on weekends, they go up at noon and three o'clock. Well, I upload them way before that and then schedule them to be uh, published at that exact time. Now, uh, when I uh, schedule them, I also add them to the playlist. And what will happen is sometimes YouTube will say, oh, that's the next uh, video on the playlist. I want to put it as the next video. And uh, even though it's not public, um, so you might see that in the thing and then you click next and it says, oh, it's private. That doesn't mean I privated it or anything. It just means it hasn't been published yet. Cartoony Dave asks, did you ever go to Second Avenue Deli? It's so good. 
it is good, but I like Katz's deli better. Uh, to me, it's just uh, the, their pastrami. I love the cut on their pastrami a lot better. Araceli Tapia asked, Hey, think, have you ever jumped from a rooftop and land on snow when you were a kid? Mulan. Uh, no, I, I never did that, and I wouldn't do that as an adult either. I, I don't know. It sounds like a good way to break your legs if you're not careful. The The Funny Kids Show asks, Have you ever read the end of Fox and Socks where there's a noodle eating poodle or Sesame Street in Elmo's world? Mr. Noodles. Uh, nothing. No, I don't know about the Sesame Street, but Fox and Socks was one of my favorite books as a kid, and my parents would hate it when I would make them read it because it was forcing them to read a tongue twister. Jibby's World asks, did you ever make fake accounts to boost your subscribers? No. And the reason for that is even if you make accounts to boost your subscribers, they're not going to watch your videos. You're not going to get views from them because they are fake and they're not gonna watch your video, so there's really no point in a making fake accounts. Free Mining MC asks, how long does it take you to get ready for recording a video? Well, that depends. Um, sometimes on survival, uh, I'll spend, you know, th an hour or even an hour and a half sometimes just setting things up, organizing things, making sure everything is where it should be and where I want it to be before I start recording. Shark Dude 88 asks, Hey Vink, how would you rate your middle school experience? A, awesome, B, cool, C, not much fun, or B, it stunk. Uh, I would say, let's see, middle school for me was just seventh and eighth grade. So I would say seventh and eighth grade. Yeah, it was pretty awesome, I have to admit. <laughs> Gus the Gaming Guava asks, Hey Vink, have you had a snowball fight yet this year? Well, I kind of had a one-sided snowball fight where I was at the advantage. Um, <laughs> I threw snowballs at Kopi. <laughs> the Super Crew HQ asks, when you answer a question, how long will you wait before answering the same one again? Well, it really depends on what question it is. Sometimes forever, <laughs> meaning I won't uh, answer it again ever. Uh, but sometimes there are ones that I know that get asked a lot and a lot and a lot by a lot of different people. And I figure, okay, enough people haven't seen this episode, who, who, who knows how long ago, 10 episodes ago, they're asking the same question again. I'm going to answer this one. So uh, it just depends. Michelle Braga asks, how come you have black hair in Minecraft and gray hair in Pop Tropica? Well, if you look closely at the pixels on my Minecraft skin, they're actually a dark gray color, a um, little black mixed in, but I kind of made it a little bit uh, grayish black, uh, kind of, you know, salt and peppery, I guess. Luna Chai asks, think I hate Pop Tropica's newest update. I like how the ads keep on popping up when we enter or exit. Yes, me too. Not happy about that. I thought it was a joke that had to do with uh, Mock Tropica Island and they were just putting it in there, but it turns out it's on everything and I'm not impressed. Uh, I really, really don't like it either. Pandora Weenie asks, in your survival world, you said when you use your fish farm, you set the use key to caps lock. Couldn't you do that in survival games for killing people faster? Well, uh, the use key is actually the right click button, so that wouldn't work very well in survival games because you'd just be, you know, trying to eat food all the time if that was in your hand uh, or blocking with your sword constantly. But also if you set the left click button to your caps lock so it's just constantly hitting, you wouldn't be able to open chests or anything like that because it's always pressing the left button. You could never press the right one. So no, that would not work in survival games. Adit Bihmani asks, Hey Vink, why are there always poppies in your iron golem farm? Well, iron golems, when they die, they drop poppies. So they drop their iron and their poppies. Haley Sabald says, I have a PC and I don't have the 1.8 snapshot. Is there a way I can get it? PS, hi to Thinks Wife. <laughs> well, yes, you can. Um, if you bring up the launcher right before you click play, on the left-hand side, at least on the Mac version, I would think on the PC version, there is a profile. All you need to do is click new profile and then go through the options and enable developmental snapshots. And then you can go ahead and select the version. Aliza Khan asks, can you do a new adventure map? Yes, I will be starting one as soon as the code is over. Jerry Potter asks, can't you go into a backup before you switch to get back Clock Norris? 
Well, yes and no. Uh, the reason I can't is because once I discovered he was gone, I had accomplished quite a few things in survival like uh, the map room and the slime chunk and uh, a few other things, uh, moving the beacon, all that stuff and, uh, and, and also getting all those uh, wither skulls. Uh, well, I guess that happened after. But anyway, uh, the point is that I can't because I had done a bunch of things. And if I revert back to a backup to get Cluck Norris back, I'll lose all that progress and it's just not worth it. KZ asks, Mr. Noodles, don't you think it would be amazing if there were jetpacks in Minecraft? Well, there are. If you install certain mods or play Feed the Beast, uh, which is kind of like Hexit, it's, it's a mod pack for uh, Minecraft, uh, you do have jetpacks that will fly you all around Minecraft. Kenna Ray asks, what is the difference between a resource pack and a texture pack? Well, first of all, it is kind of semantic terminology calling it a resource pack or a texture pack because some, okay, let's do it like this. Uh, <laughs> um, a resource pack, let's see, uh, a texture pack can only have textures and graphics in it, while a resource pack can have textures and graphics and sounds. And that's the main difference. So I guess uh, every resource pack is a texture pack, but a texture pack isn't, or not every texture pack is a resource pack because, you know, they sometimes have sound in them. So uh, yeah, you, the, the differences and what they changed was that you could add sounds with your resource packs. Skylar Winberry asks, do you ever talk to fans on PvP games? Yes, I do. I'm sure you see it in, uh, in my uh, Hunger Games videos that I always talk to people when I'm playing on servers. JJ's Platinum asks, I haven't really tested this out, so I'm wondering, is Hexit available as multiplayer? The reason I'm asking is because I've explored most continents of Hexit, contents of Hexit, except for the Wall of the North, and I'm getting a bit bored. New lawn! Well, yes, uh, there are Hexit based servers, but I believe that the server has to be running a, uh, a Hexit jar, a server jar, just like you would um, when you bring up Technic Launcher, they would have to have a server running Technic uh, server version. Uh, there are some out there along with Feed the Beast servers and also Pixelmon servers. So yeah, go ahead and uh, look around and you should be able to find one. Fun Girl 563 asks, can you ask the Hive Owner people why we can't sponsor people in Hunger Games? Well, it's just the way that they developed their Hunger Games plugin. They wanted to make it sort of very bare bones and just about fighting. So that's why there are no sponsors in the Hunger Games for the Hive. Legit Surviving says, on your last survival episode, well, um, that's probably a couple of episodes ago by now, but I saw that you changed the difficulty to hard. When did you do this? Uh, I'm trying to think back, um, around the time that I beat the Ender Dragon, maybe a little bit before, maybe a couple episodes after, I just decided that easy was way too easy. I would just go straight to hard and I've been playing on hard ever since. Star Dragon MC asks, if possible in Hexit, can you fight the Ender Dragon Nulon? I think you can. Uh, I think that everything in vanilla Minecraft is still in Hexit, like Withers and the Ender Dragon. Uh, but then there are also other bosses. And from what I understand, the end is different uh, because of the mod pack. So I'm sure that there will be an Ender Dragon. There might be other bosses. We will definitely, definitely check out that dimension though. Ian Blasco asks, does haste work on axes? And the reason he asks is because I always have haste from my beacon on in survival. And yes, it works with anything you do with uh, with your hand that could be punching a tree, even without a weapon, uh, it'll be faster. Uh, if you're swinging your sword, you can swing your sword faster. Um, anything that you would do, a digging with a shovel, everything like that will be faster because of haste. The next person asked, Dear Think, in your last Ask Think, you said you're not going to change your skin, but what if you change your skin just for the holidays and summer? Well, what I mean is my base skin, my normal look, my face, and most of my clothes, I'm going to leave the same always. But yeah, I mean, for Christmas, I put on that little Santa hat uh, that covered my eyes. And uh, for summer, who knows, maybe I'll cut the bottoms of my pants off and make them into shorts. But uh, for the most part, it's going to be the same base skin. Johnny Velazquez asks, did someone give you the Think Noodles name yet? 
Uh, I, I think you mean the name in Minecraft. Um, and no, the person who owns that Think Noodles account with no characters after it. I don't know, maybe they don't play Minecraft anymore, probably don't watch my channel anymore. And uh, I just, nobody's seen them, so I, I don't really know. But no, they haven't given it to me, and I don't think I'm ever going to get it. Oh. Jesus plays Minecraft asks, Hey Think, will you ever play with any popular YouTubers, even if they curse in the video? Well, some videos I've done with other people, they have cursed, and I just cut it out. And if that were the case, and I played with someone and they cursed, I would just cut it out the same way. Zerax MC asks, I have two questions. I think I'll post them consecutively, so here I go. I think my first question is your idea of UHC game type with your fans doesn't have to be the core games, does it? If so, when will it be open for the public? Uh, no. Uh, as you guys know, <laughs> the, uh, the idea that I had to play along with you guys was the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge, or MHC, which is currently on right now, and I'm doing okay. I'm surviving, at least. <laughs> But as far as the core games, uh, it should be open to the public now, if not within the next week, uh, for everyone to play. That's your luck. Montez asks, do you ever feel like the creepers, skeletons, and zombies are annoying when you're building something? Well, honestly, I don't mind the skeletons or the zombies when I'm building things, but the creepers are the worst because you know when you're building something you're really into it you're just paying attention to the design you take a step back you take a step forward you jump up a little bit here and there and all of a sudden pss, and boom it's gone and it just oh you know everything's gone and of course you're standing right next to the chest with all your building materials in it and then you got to refill it and your inventory is full and oh man they are the worst david smith asks i think i was wondering what would you do if you saw diamond and lapis, but you only had one space left in your inventory and the rest was very important? Which one would you choose? Totally would choose diamond. I find uh, basically, I mean, I, I have a bunch of lapis in my survival world in uh, at the bottom of my branch mine. There's stacks of ore. Uh, that I grabbed. Uh, lapis is a lot more common and easier to come by than diamond, so I would definitely grab the diamond, especially because in 1.8 you can trade for lapis with villagers, so the only thing that's really, really, truly rare are the diamonds. Gralance CP asks, think, what do you think the crafting recipe is going to be for the crackstone bricks? Well, assuming that they do them, and they probably will, I mean, we've got mossy cobble we've got mossy stone bricks um they are making the recipes available for most things so um my guess and maybe it's already out by now so maybe i'm right but my guess would be for crack stone brick would be like a mixture of uh stone bricks and cobble because you know a crack stone brick kind of looks like uh, stone brick around a piece of cobble so maybe two pieces of stone brick and two pieces of cobble that I think that's a pretty good recipe and that would make obviously four cracked stone bricks I, I don't know we'll see the cool kid THK asks would you rather be a redstone genius or great at PvP ooh tough one um I mean it's <laughs> it's fun being good at PvP not that I am, but on some days I do pretty well and it is really fun when you feel like you're good at it. But then if you could only be one or the other, I mean, I love to build things and being good at redstone, uh, you can do a lot of amazing things in Minecraft that no one else could. Ooh, that is a really tough choice. I would probably go with redstone genius because I would do things that other people wouldn't be able to. What would you choose? I am Pie Man 55 asks, hey, think will you have a specific world for your mod showcases? Noodle on. Well, as you saw last week in uh, in the camping mod, I may be working towards something. So keep an eye on my channel and uh, you'll find out very, very soon the answer to your question. Basie MC asks, how many skins did you have before your current skin for Think? Uh, well, obviously Steve at first, um, was my first skin and then I tried on some, oh, I had a couple of skins from dig, build, live. If you guys remember that, I haven't seen much from them lately, 
now that I think about it. But I tried a couple of the different skins from Dig to Live. And then, oh, and I built my Pop Tropican skin. So let's see, one, two, three, four. Then I had my Hobo Steve Think Noodles version. So that's five. So five before I got my current one. Sam Fox asks, hey, think if you were to start a YouTube channel for pocket devices, should you call it A, pocket full of noodles, B, noodles to go, C, thinking mobile? Personally, I think B is the best, and of course, noodle on. Uh, wow, those, all three of those are great channel names. You are impressively creative. Uh, noodles to go is pretty good, but I think I like pocket full of noodles because it has to do with pocket and noodles, and I don't know, but those are great. XX Party Gamer XX asks, Hey Thing, did you know that biting your finger off is as easy as biting a carrot, but your brain stops you from doing it? That's crazy. Are you sure? I mean, I'm trying. Yeah, I definitely can't bite very hard. <laughs> but uh, I would think that biting through bone would be a lot harder than biting through a carrot, but I do think that your brain has a lot to do with the fact that you can't. Sadia Ansari asks, Think, did you know that the top secret organization called the Poopy Duple Niper Club has a convention happening in a deserted island? Yes, it has tons of desserts in it. <laughs> See, a lot of people spell that incorrectly, but you did it on purpose. And the main dish is spicy dog frog noodle soup. Now, we'll let you in so you can have some and wait, where'd they go? There was a giant bowl of them. Think, did you? Wait a second. There's Golden Retriever for right next to it. I wonder who it's from. It's Kobe. I knew it. She's the thief. It's not me, guys. See, all this time, you guys have been thinking that I've been stealing your stuff. There's proof right there. It was Kobe. The King of Minecraft says, think if a fan was in one of your packages, how would you react? A, be happy to see a fan. B, be mad and kick him or her out. C, feed him or her to Kofi, or D, let him stay and play Minecraft. Well, I would be shocked at first <laughs> to see someone jump out of a package, but I would uh, be happy to see you and let you stay and play Minecraft and uh, maybe feed, you know, one of your arms to Kofi because, you know, she needs something to chew on while we play. Michaela Winkler asks, who's your favorite turtle? Mine is Leonardo. <laughs> see, I'm glad that you put the mine is Leonardo part because, like, if you had just put who's your favorite turtle, I would have been like, um, what? <laughs> but uh, when I watched Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, my favorite was always Michelangelo. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for this week's Ask Think. I'm going to be back next week. So put your question in the comments so I can have something to answer as soon as I get home. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It really means a lot to see your support and click that like button. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, why don't you become a noodler today? Go ahead and subscribe. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching and of course, noodle on!